So, hey guys, Chelsea here. Yeah, we got some surprise news from JP today. I was going to upload a new Doffy 2 team, but I'm saving it for tomorrow instead because I really want to talk about this new legend. First of all, shout out to Matt here on the subreddit Discord for compiling all the info, and of course to Koala-san for giving a clean translation. I did some preliminary translations on the Discord server, I usually do that. It's usually pretty accurate, but I still like to wait for Koala-san to have it all properly together and just like, just in case I make some mistake or something. But yeah, we're getting a new, uh, presumed to be a Kisuna legend, like this legend will probably only be pullable from Kisuna Sugos and we also know that this is going to be called the 7th Anniversary Kizuna on JP, so it's going to be a special Kizuna. Not a Team Kizuna though, even if there are multiple Kizuna rare recruits, but it's going to be a normal one. But it will have a lot of Shopperman missions and stuff. But yeah, what I really want to talk about is this Fire Tank Pirates duo unit. Yeah, they've revived the duo crew unit. I'm super excited. We had... A few in the past, like over a year ago, we had Shang's crew, we had Alon crew, and we had the Raid Buggy crew. I really love the concept, they just dropped it. Then we got the sweet commanders for the VCI, who is a super type, and it's just iffy, like Gurma is similar, also super type. Would have loved if they were duo instead. This I really like the duo concept with crew units. So I'm happy they brought it back. And yeah, this duo unit will be one unit is Capone. And then the other fire tank pirates are the other duo unit. So yeah, let's take a look. But yeah, this Capone or fire tank pirates to be precise is going to be a driven shooter unit. Capone will be Dex and the rest of the crew will be Psy. Very cool color type for a duo unit, we don't have many of those. The only one that comes to mind is the treasure map Sorosanji. Super useful, very cool to have that. And I will see right away that pff, this is one of the most stupid units I've ever read. Like, I don't know what they were thinking about. This unit legit power creeps. Like, that doesn't happen often, but it, you can actually call it like a power creep this time. So yeah, let's just jump in. There's a lot of talk about, even about the captain. Uh, let's talk about the duo cap first, and we can maybe look a bit about the individual ones. But when they are in duo form, shooter and driven characters get a 5 times attack boost. Yeah, not, nothing surprising, 5x attack, standard nowadays for Legends. 1.3 times HP, fine. Reduce incoming damage by 60%. Yeah, that's a huge decrease. And yeah, of course, if you run double capo, uh, fire tank pirates, and both are in duo form, you are getting that 60% apply to both. And that does not mean 120% damage reduction. I think it's more like 86%. I've heard that number. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but it's going to be a big damage reduction if they are together. Another cool part is that, uh, yeah, it says that shooter and driven character will treat all color orbs as beneficial. Uh, that's not how I understood it, but I'll trust Koala-san here, that's super good. Very, um, super amazing, just all, co all color orbs beneficial, just like that, super good. He also makes crew immune to blow away, that's unique for a captain ability. We had that immunity before with like captain actions or legend Capone special. But yeah, this is first time it's part of an actual capital ability, and all of the duo forms also has it on it. And he also has a 5 times heal at the end of the term of his recovery stat. Yeah, super cool, you just heal, extra healing every turn. So yeah, if you look at the individual ones, uh, it's kind of weird. Usually the main character is the good one, but... I'd say that the crew part has the better captain ability with 4.25 times attack. While the Capone part is 3.75 times attack, but he himself gets a 4.5 times attack. And yeah, I don't think that's a trade-off. Like, it should have been a 4x attack, in my opinion. But yeah, Capone does get 
the 20% damage reduction, which the other captain doesn't have, so I guess that makes up for it. And yeah, then you see that the different captain makes different orbs beneficial. And this is actually very nice, because if you set it up so one of one of your fire tanks parrot is dex and the other is psi, then you can kind of just swap both every turn. And you will get the switch effect, and you will also get all color orbs matching, since Capone makes two of the colors matching, then the crew part makes the other three co color orbs matching, and then of course in duo part they are all just matching. So yeah, it's a very cool concept, very cool captain ability. Uh, you should probably know that I'm not a big fan of duo units as captain, but I can definitely see myself using this as a captain. can even see myself using him as like part of a captain, like pair him up with Bursting Akin or something. Uh, but yeah, I feel that's enough for the captain. Let's get, get into the crazy part, which is the special. It's just insane. So this special reduced five turns of special bind, reduced five turns of percent damage reduction, that's rainbow shield, and threshold damage reduction, changes block, recovery, and color orbs of shooter and driven characters to matching. Very good. So changes everything except tandem, and yeah, some of the yeah, niche orbs. Uh, and he has what is usually called a perfect orb block. And perfect orb block as a mechanic has usually been used as a debuff. You can see me, but I'm using quotation marks here debuff, as in it's supposed to be a bad thing. But perfect lock is actually an amazing thing. Since your orbs are locked in place. You keep them for as long as you have the lock, and yeah, it's just super good. Like you'll probably see Hawkins Forest teams where the perfect lock is abused to just keep recovery orbs the whole run. You might have noticed that this Capone, I should probably read all first and then talk about it, but yeah, perfect lock, and it's until you hit one perfect. So yeah, you have to be careful with your perfects then, if you want to keep them. And for two turns, boost attack of shooter and driven by 2.5 times. And for three turns, you become the duo unit. Okay. See, so what I was going to say is that obviously what you will you want to use the perfect lock for is to keep recovery. But obviously, he changes recovery orbs to matching. But I want to remind you of a certain very good unit, arguably the best captain, in my opinion, versus Big Mom. She's a driven unit. She boosts Psy, not Dex, so not the best with Capone, but yeah, hear me out. And she can turn recovery orbs to Semla. Semla orbs cannot be changed. And that means you can perfect lock Semla orbs with this Capone, which is just mind blowing to think about. Like Big Mom already have so much sustain. Then you add keeping Semla orbs, like you can just keep it on a few units. And you get extra healing every turn. And then you add the swap here. We're going to look at the swap. And you get even more healing and defense. Like it's insane. Like this special is too good. But you even need to look at the swap for to really understand how good this special is. Okay, the swap. You completely remove <laughs> special bind on yourself. You change they change their own orb to matching. And for one turn, you reduce incoming damage by 25%. And you heal 5% of max HP. Like, oh my god. Like, this is a big contender for best swap. And I'm not saying that as hyperball. Like, I've always thought that Bartra and Cavendish have one of the best swaps. I, I, I think you can make a case that Bartra and Cavendish had the best swap. Like, there are so many teams where Bartra and Cavendish is used, and they are basically only used for their swap. Like, it's that good. You can use them just for their swap. And Fire Tank Pirates have basically the same swap, but they also remove Special Bind on themselves. And they have a special that removes Special Bind on crew by 5 turns too. Like, oh my god. Like, this is so insane. Like, I was talking on the Discord, and I was saying that 
Druvi might actually be the best class now, like after this Capone, like this this Fire Tank Pirate unit is so crazy. I'm mainly thinking as a sub too, like the sub potential here for Driven, like with versus Aquino Captain, you have this Capone, you have all the other amazing Driven units released in the past two months and all of the old ones, all the Driven supports, like it's it's legit getting insane. Like imagine two, three months ago saying that Driven might be the best class. You'd be laughed at, you'd be called an idiot, Driven might be the worst class. And now I feel like you can say that Driven might be the best and it's like, uh, it's not very controversial. My, like you can disagree, but you're not going to be called an idiot, so to say. Uh, uh, it's just amazing. Like uh, The worst part of this is that Baka, uh, Barton Cavendish, loses a lot of relevance, which makes me sad. I'm not going to say they're completely, completely useless now, since they are still a quick unit while this... Capo, uh, Fire Tank Paris is Dex and Psy, but yeah, in, in almost all scenarios, you're going to want to use this Fire Tank Paris unit. And like, I, I'm happy that Driven is good, but this is the first time I'll probably say that I wish this unit wasn't Driven because uh, Barton and Cavendish loses so much relevance, and I, I've loved that unit so much, it's so cool. And its biggest niche now is that they are partly quick. So, I'm a bit sad actually about that, but I'm more excited by how absolutely stupid this unit is and how absolutely stupid Driven is. Just look at all they do with the Switch combined with Special. So yeah, yeah. the Switch lets them remove Special Bind as a captain too. Obviously very good. So you have a unit that can remove Special Bind. They can remove percent damage reduction and threshold damage reduction by five turns. Super good utility. Legends usually don't have this good utility. And they, if they have this good utility, they usually don't have that much else going on. But this Capone also has incredibly good orb manipulation. And he can do the perfect lock. And until now, I think the only unit that could do a perfect lock outside of being a debuff is the Event Vapol unit. And he only locked the, fre uh, the captain slot and he had a very weird special. I've not used him yet. I will probably make a team with him before we get uh, kept this unit on global just to showcase a bit. And not only that, you get a two turn, two put five times attack for driven and shooter, so... This, this is just too much in a special. And that swap, like you're just going to do what Baka always does with the swap. But on top of that, you actually have a special that you can make amazing use of. Like, I could talk a long time about this, but I think we'll move on now. And yeah, they also have a sailor to remove special seal, which is... I'd say it's good because sometimes you don't want to swap. So you aren't forced to swap to get rid of the special buy. Of course, if you're a captain, you have two, but as a sub, you have a bit more flexibility. So that's just amazing. And other than that, just a lot of extra stats. Very good. And then uh, the rim limit abilities. I haven't actually looked at their limit abilities, but yeah, it looks pretty. As you can expect, they have the Enrage, to an extra attack, remove 3 turns, very good. Heal block, reduce 7 turns of it, that's fine. Not that useful nowadays, but yeah, it's not good, it's not bad to have. And they have the arguably best one in Barry Pen, and of course it's the Legends, they completely ignore barriers, very good. Whew. This unit is so good. But yeah, let's take a quick look at other units. Like, wow. Like, imagine that this is the pre-anniversary bait. Like, just imagine how crazy the anniversary will be. Like, if we have a unit that is crazier than this for Annie, then Annie is going to be crazy because this unit might be the most crazy thing they've done in a long time. Whew. But yeah, we get 6 plus Cracker, and this is actually very good buff. It's ba it's basically the same unit. They made two changes to the special. 
which are both very nice. First, they've upped the color affinity to from 1.75 times to two times. Very nice, extra damage, not bad. And then they added a 15% HP cut. Like, of course, I preferred if it was like just a small little damage instead of HP cut, because HP cuts are annoying with uh, Kisun and everything. It just takes a lot of time. But the fact that, that Cracker does damage now is so big. You can either put the support smoker on him, which means that Cracker can also do an attack boost for quick units by 1.75 times, on top of all the other stuff he does. Or you can put a new support Typhoon on him, and suddenly Cracker can do some orb manip. Like even if, like his his normal more norm, orb manip is a bit limited, but he he can do some guaranteed orb manip with support Typhoon. And it can remove four turns of death up and two turns of despair. Like, super good buff for Cracker. This is like the best buff imaginable, in my opinion. Like, Cracker didn't need a buff, so we take those. Uh, we also got some new uh, Kizuna rear recruits. I'm not really going to talk too much about them, except for the support, because they, ha especially this Brook, has a very nice support. Like, you can put them on Sanji, now in Chopper, and if the enemy does a death up, you just remove two turns of it. Amazing. This is a unit you want to pick up for sure. And then there, there's a Judge. I don't know where we're getting new, a new Judge, but yeah. You can put him on the Jerma Kids, except for Sanji. And when the support, the character uses their special, you, rem you remove two turns of resilience. Not bad. Not many uh, resilience reduction specials, so yeah. The kids don't have many good support, so yeah. Not bad to have another option. And yeah, then we have the new Kisuna Katakuri, who is a Sai unit. And yeah, he looks fine. Not, I don't think he looks bad. Like, he has a lot of tools, like he has utility, or manipulation, and three turn chain lock. 2.75 times, but yeah, I'm fine with free to play units having a bit lower chain lock as long as three turns because three turn chain lock is super valuable and you don't always want to use shank screw. Like, I'm sure you've seen me use this event Big Mom a lot, three turn chain lock. Yeah, as long as it's three turns, it's super good. And yeah, that's all the news really. I could talk a lot more about these fire tank pirates, but yeah. I'm sure we're going to see some cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing teams using versus Big Mom together with this guy. Like, just imagine, like, oh, so many potential cool combos. Yeah, I look forward to that. I look forward to getting this unit in the future, too. But yeah, thanks for hearing me out, guys. See you next time.